I'm in America, so it would be rude not to go to Sephora. And I just have to show you what I got because I got quite a few like rogue things. I feel like I'm in my lip era, which that is not me at all. I'm like a face and a base era. So I'm gonna go through all the lip things I got. I mean, it's not all lip, excuse me. <laughs> Sam's just trying to iron his crease shirt. Like I was saying, it's not all lip products. I did get a few base products. So the first thing is this Say Glow Sculpt and it's a multi-use cream highlighting glow. It looks really, really cool. Let me show you. I saw it like on the stand and I was like, mm, look at that. Has mine been touched? Let me just show you because oh my God. <gasps> that looks beautiful. And this is in the shade Peach Glow. When I go to Sephora, I always pick up the little hand sanitizers. They're like my favorite thing ever. They buy Touchland and it's just a hand sanitizer mist. <laughs> in the, I nearly said Kelly, squirt in the iron like this. <laughs> this is in the scent, what scent is this one? This scent is Vanilla Blossom. I also did get another rainwater because this smells so good. Next thing in my bag of tricks is the Rare Beauty Highlighter. I've actually never tried this and Millie always tells me about it and how good it is. The Positive Light Illuminator and this is in the shade Enlighten. I actually dug this out because there was none left. There was only a couple of like I think the deeper shades and I found this one and oh it looks so cute. Two last face products that I got. House Labs. Oh my god. So I picked two of the House Labs new blushes up last time I was in America. They are incredible. Everyone always borrows them off me, like when I'm on holiday, when my friends come around, and they are so beautiful. I usually use the shade Pomelo Peach, so I picked up Rose Quartz. I think this is um this is the gel powder highlighter, and then I also picked up the Velvet Sculpt Powder Bronzer. I feel like this Rose Quartz one's gonna be really similar to that Say blush that I just got, but in a different shade. <gasps> Oh my god, I didn't realise the packaging was like that. It's like a holographic. And then look inside. I'm sorry. Look at that, Sam, look at that. How stunning is that? Pink. It's beautiful. So it says it's a bioradiant gel powder highlighter. So let's feel it. Oh my god. I mean, that kind of just feels like a powder. That is really pretty though. <gasps> oh. That is stunning. Like that is me as a like a blush in any kind of shape and form. And then this is the Powder Sculpt Velvet Bronze. So this intrigued me as well. This packaging, I didn't realize any of these packaging. I thought they were all gonna be in the same components as my blushes are. <gasps> that is so cute. And this is in the shade Light Level 4. Oh, that feels so good. Now that feels like a mix of like a cream and a powder bronzer. Oh, that is so smooth. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can hear it so squeaking. Okay, now finally onto the lips. Like I said, the lips. So the first one is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. Now I have loads of Fenty Gloss Bombs, but I don't think I've ever had Sweet Mouth. Sweet Mouth is like the famous like Fenty Gloss Bomb. It's like the most prettiest pinky shade. Ooh. And I keep seeing people overline the lips with like a pinky lip liner and then just use like a pinky gloss in the middle to give like a baby lip and it just looks so cute. So thought that would be perfect for that. Oh, and it smells like sweets. And then a lip product that I've never seen before is this Kosas Wet Stick and it's a moisturizing lip shine. I see so many brands doing these like glossy lip balms now. It looks like this. And yeah, it literally looks like all of the glossy lip balms everyone's doing, but this looks so pretty. I'll try and swatch the shade here. Like that is kind of like your lip, but better if you had like a bit of lip liner on or even, I might just pop a little bit on now. Oh, that feels so nice on the lips. What shade is this in? This is in shade Baby Rose. That's lovely. That'll be perfect to like pop in your handbag um, so you can top up your lips if you're going out for a wedding. And I've got a wedding quite soon when I get off this holiday, so these lip products will come in handy. Then I also got a NARS lip shine and I also got an Hourglass like glossy lip balm. This is in the shade Turkish Delight. And again, because I want to do like the lip liner and the baby pink lip in the middle, I thought this will be perfect. I love the name so much, Turkish Delight, and that's what it looks like. Okay, and the final one is the Hourglass, what are they actually called? Volumizing Glossy Balm. I'm so late to these. I did buy a few shades, but I don't think I ever picked up Slip because it was out of stock. Oh, hourglass packaging is just the nicest. So wait, oh, how do we do this? That's what it looks like. So, hi. <laughs> Again, so your lip but better, like glossy lip stain. Perfect. I just need things and want things that I can throw in my bag, top up my lips, and I'd be good to go with like a little bit of lip liner. Put all my own in the bag. And that's what 
that's everything I got from Sephora. I literally love watching these so much. So yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna buy because I was already over my weight restriction when we came out here and we had to pay. So I can't take too much back with me. So 